I'm Sister Helena Burns from the Daughters of St. Paul, here to tell you about a new film on the life of Blessed Father James Alberione, founder of the Daughters of St. Paul and the Pauline family. The film is called Media Apostle, and you can learn more about it at MediaApostle.com. Now, I know most of you have probably never heard of Blessed James Alberione. He was from Italy. But when people learn even a few facts about his life and media work, they are fascinated and hooked, and they want to know more. Father Alberione had a timeless media vision, media strategy, and media spirituality. And since today our world and our culture are more and more a media world and a media culture, Father Alberione is so needed for our times. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. Father Alberione is our guide, and he has this media world thing all figured out. So I want to share with you today a little bit of Father Alberione's media spirituality. Father Alberione wrote the Pauline Prayer Book, which contains many prayers for the media. For example, he has us pray for writers, directors, technicians, and audiences. In another prayer, we dedicate computers and machines used in media production to Our Lady. Another prayer is a prayer over media content. Father Alberione prays that media creators will not confuse and lead people into error, what he calls drinking from stagnant wells, but that media creators will have people drinking from living water instead. He even wrote a prayer to pray for those souls who are in purgatory because of their media use and asks them to pray for us to be wise in our use of media. If we look at the traditional ends of prayer, praise, thanksgiving, petition, and reparation, here's how Father Alberione's media spirituality syncs up with that. One, we praise and thank God for the media, which the Vatican II document on the media, Intermerifica, calls wonderful gifts. Two, we petition God's grace for all aspects of our media world, media content, media technology, the media culture, the media industry, media creators and audiences, and media influence. Three, we seek to repair the harm done by evil media, and that evil media will just go away by offering the Mass in reparation and atonement while we pray for the increase of good media everywhere. And of course, we want to join our prayer with action and good works, so it's vitally important that we also create, use, and support good media ourselves. All of us need to think of ourselves as media creators and communicators as well, every time we craft a text or tweet or post something on Facebook or Instagram. Father Alberione used to say, give to all the charity of the truth. And with today's new evangelization, we want people to encounter Jesus, who is the truth that saves, who is the truth that sets us free. Nothing replaces personal contact, but have you ever thought that we can also use the media to fulfill the spiritual works of mercy? What are the spiritual works of mercy? One, instruct the ignorant. Two, counsel the doubtful. Three, admonish the sinner. Four, bear wrongs patiently. Five, forgive offenses willingly. Six, comfort the afflicted. And seven, pray for the living and the dead. Actively participating in good media is also a great way to show our love of God and neighbor. Father Alberione's motto was, Gloria Deo, Pax Ominibus, Glory to God and Peace to Mankind, the Song of the Christmas Angels. He always kept those two together. Not just glory to God, but also peace to humanity the peace that only Jesus can give us. One of my favorite sayings of Father Alberione is, there are those who let themselves be dragged by the current. Others direct media toward edification and sanctification in joy. Check out MediaApostle.com for more on the new film about the life and media ministry of Blessed Father James Alberione. God bless.